March 14, 2008. Florida. Wildlife researchers couldn't believe what they were seeing. There, on the muddy bank of a swamp, lay a body that simply shouldn't be there in that condition. An adult American alligator. Dead. Partially consumed. The marks on the body told a disturbing story. A precise bite to the neck region, right behind the head. The canines had punctured the ventral throat with surgical precision. Whoever did this knew exactly where to strike. The evidence at the scene was clear. Drag marks. Signs of a brutal struggle. And then, the most unsettling part. Feeding marks. The predator didn't just kill. It fed. The question that tormented researchers was simple, but terrifying. What in nature is capable of doing this to an American alligator? But this discovery wasn't an isolated case. It was just the tip of a much larger iceberg. Get ready, because what you're about to discover today will completely change your perception of the food chain in North America. When researchers began investigating more deeply, they realized something disturbing. The signs had been there for years. They simply hadn't connected the dots. South Carolina, Florida. From the 2000s to 2010, strange cases began accumulating. Alligators were disappearing. Not the hatchlings, that would be normal. Raccoons, otters, black bears, feral hogs, and even wading birds regularly attack alligator nests. About one-third of all nests are destroyed by predators or floods. That's expected. It's part of the natural cycle. But what was happening was different. These were juvenile alligators. Some even of considerable size. And the causes weren't the usual ones. They weren't territorial fights between alligators. They weren't road kills. They weren't human hunters. The marks on the bodies told a different story. Between 2015 and 2023, multiple incidents were documented along the South Carolina coast. Some in wildlife refuges, others in management areas, some even on private conservation properties. The pattern was always similar, always disturbing. A consistent and professional killing technique, so to speak. A precise bite, with the canines puncturing the ventral throat, sometimes the upper part of the neck as well. It's exactly where you would strike if you wanted to kill an alligator quickly, cutting off the airflow and causing massive damage to soft tissues. But here's the detail that made everything even more sinister. Some of these attacks were recorded by automatic trail cameras, and what they captured was simultaneously fascinating and disturbing. In Georgetown County, South Carolina, the cameras showed something extraordinary. During nest hatching events, when maternal females were busy transporting hatchlings to the water, something was watching from the shadows, waiting. And when the mother moved away, the predator attacked. Not just the hatchlings, the eggs too. And the cameras revealed behavior that left researchers speechless. This predator interacted with the nests for hours, returning repeatedly whenever the maternal female was absent. It wasn't blind instinct. It was intelligence, calculated behavior, opportunism in the best evolutionary sense of the word. The predator had learned the behavioral pattern of the alligators and was exploiting their vulnerabilities with surgical precision. So before revealing what creature this is, if you're enjoying this content, consider subscribing to the channel. Content about nature, predators, and the mysteries of wildlife appear here regularly. And you can be sure you won't want to miss what's coming. The predator isn't a crocodile. It's not a bear. It's not a larger alligator in a territorial dispute. It's a feline. But not just any feline. We're talking about two specific felines that are rewriting what we know about interactions between mammals and crocodilians in North America. The first is the bobcat. Yes, that medium-sized feline that weighs between 13 and 40 pounds. An animal that most people would think is too small, too weak, too cautious to attack an armored reptile, 
with one of the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom. But science is proving otherwise. A study published in 2025 documented six detailed observations of bobcats hunting American alligators in coastal South Carolina. Two of these observations were made directly in the field by researchers. Three were captured by automatic trail cameras and one was confirmed through DNA analysis in Bobcat Scat. Three of the observations involved juvenile alligators. Researchers estimated these alligators were between 30 and 41 inches in total length. To give you an idea, a three-foot alligator already has an extremely dangerous bite and can cause serious injuries to humans. But here's the most fascinating part. Two of the observations involved bobcats attacking nests during hatching events. They didn't just grab the newly hatched babies. They took the eggs. And the cameras showed exactly that extraordinary behavior I mentioned. The bobcats learned to avoid the maternal females, returning to the nests repeatedly whenever they moved away. A behavior that demonstrates not just opportunism, but learning and adaptation. But bobcats aren't the only felines hunting alligators. There's another. Larger. More powerful. And it was this feline that killed that alligator in Florida in 2008. The Florida panther, a subspecies of the puma or mountain lion. Studies had already identified smaller American alligators, between 18 and 60 inches, as occasional prey of Florida panthers. But that discovery in March 2008 changed everything. Because when researchers finally measured that dead alligator, the numbers shocked everyone. 106 inches in total length. Almost 9 feet. Between 200 and 330 pounds of pure muscle and reptilian armor. To understand what this means, an adult American alligator is a perfect survival machine. These animals have practically not changed in 8 million years because they simply didn't need to. Scientists call this a state of evolutionary equilibrium. When adult, these reptiles have no natural predators. Zero. They are the absolute top of the food chain. Their skin is like armor. Their reflexes are surprisingly fast. Their bite is among the most powerful of all animals when we consider force relative to body size. Alligators hunt fish, turtles, snakes, small mammals, birds, and even sharks. Yes, you heard that right. There have been documented cases of alligators killing and eating hammerhead sharks, lemon sharks, and stingrays. This nine-foot alligator could easily kill an adult human. And a Florida panther hunted it. This is, to this day, the largest crocodilian ever recorded as prey of a feline in all documented history of North America. So what does all this mean? First, it means that medium and large-sized felines are drastically underestimated predators of crocodilians. For decades, scientific literature focused mainly on large felines like jaguars and tigers. But these new studies show that even smaller felines, like the bobcat, can effectively prey on crocodilians when conditions are favorable. Second, there is clearly a vulnerable size range. Adult alligators over 10 feet continue to be practically untouchable. But juvenile alligators, especially those between 20 inches and 5 feet, are within the danger zone. And during hatching events, when nests are exposed and maternal females are busy, even eggs and newly hatched babies become targets. Third, these felines have developed sophisticated behavioral strategies. They don't attack recklessly. They observe. They wait. They choose the right moment. They avoid direct confrontations with maternal females. And they return repeatedly to the same locations when they learn resources are available. It's intelligent predation. And this raises fascinating questions about coevolution. Are alligators developing new behaviors in response? Are females becoming more vigilant? Are we witnessing in real time an evolutionary arms race between predatory mammals and reptiles that have existed for millions of years? Future studies will likely reveal even more about this complex interaction. The next time you visit the swamps of South Carolina or Florida, remember, 
Those huge alligators sunbathing on the bank may seem like the undisputed kings of their domain. And for the most part, they are. But in the shadows of the trees, among the dense vegetation, there are eyes watching. Feline eyes. Patient. Calculating. Waiting for the perfect opportunity. Because nature always finds a balance. And even the most fearsome apex predators have something to fear. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And since you made it this far, I've left a special video for you right there. A story I'm sure will surprise you as much as this one. Until next time, and thanks for watching.